So FOIL law. Here's the first of several that we're going to be uh, looking at. Basically, Boyle's Law, this law is the one that's responsible for explaining the relationship between pressure and volume. And basically, the law states the volume of a given gas is inversely proportional to pressure. And of course, in order for this to happen, temperature must remain constant. And now this is the formula that you're going to be using for Boyle's Law. V1 times P1 equals V2 times P2, where of course the 1 is the initial uh, volume and the initial pressure, and then you have your final volume and final pressure. So basically, um, if you have a, a little bit of pressure, you have much, uh, you have much more volume, more pressure, okay, and even more pressure. So um, the more pressure you have, the less volume you have, okay, inversely proportional. So as one goes up, the other one goes down. If volume goes up, pressure decreases. As volume goes down, pressure increases. So the types of questions that you may be asked with, uh, with this is that uh, a balloon has a volume of 4.5 liters at uh, room temperature, but when the pressure is increased, so your initial volume is 4.5 liters. Okay. When the pressure is increased to uh, 110.2 kilopascals, what will the final volume become? So you know the, uh, the initial pressure, okay, standard pressure, is uh, 101.3. Uh, okay. Your initial volume was given to you in the equation. You have the, uh, the new pressure, so the pressure is increased to 110.2, so that was given as well. This is, is a constant. Okay, and then you can find your final volume. So when, when you put those numbers uh, into the, the equation, your initial volume, we said, was 4.5 liters. Your uh, ATM, your pressure, is 101.3 kilopascals. We're looking for the final volume if the pressure was increased to 110.2 kilopascals. Do the math, and you get your final volume of 4.137. So remember, if pressure is increased, volume will decrease. And uh, because they are inversely proportional. So, of course, uh, things you need to be aware of. Make sure your unit is going to be in liters for volume. Volume is always measured in liters. Uh, and uh, when, when you cancel them out, of course, you should only have liters remaining. And you should make sure that it makes sense. The volume of the balloon should decrease because you have an increase in pressure. So remember that inversely, uh, that inverse proportional relationship. And that's Boyle's Law.